everyone. Today I will talk about the Chun trip, the Amtrak and the California Zephyr. I took the California Zephyr, which is a long and very famous route of um, Amtrak trip from uh, San Francisco to Chicago, which is a total 51 hours trip. We crossed six states in this trip, including California, Nevada, uh, Colorado, Nebraska, Illinois, and Utah. I got my ticket on the Amtrak official website for a roommate for $490. I got to the Emeryvale station at around 8.20. On Friday, started boarding at around 8.55 a.m. And the train started at 10 past 9 a.m. Pacific time on Friday from Emeryvale station. And we reached Chicago on Sunday afternoon. The scheduled time is 2.50 p.m. Central time and I got there at around 4.30 p.m. Central Time, just a slight delay. The Emeryville station is staffed. They have ticket service, baggage claim, some food and drink. You can see the pizza coffee here. It's not a big station, just like usual Amtrak station. And the staffs here are very friendly. I also checked out their brochures on my free time here. And I really enjoyed the San Francisco Traveler Guide here. Now it is the time to getting on board. I saw five kinds of cars on the train. There might be more that I haven't seen yet. The sightseers, which is the one with big windows, a part of this looks like a lounge, and people are gathering in the car during the day. The dining car, which is quite spacious, and we will talk about the meals later, which is very good. The coach car, and a part of them on the first floor sells snacks, and the sleeping car for us, and a car with restrooms and shower on the first floor. If you are the sleeper, you won't use the coach car. The room. Here it's what it looks like in the sleeping car. Let's go. I'm in room number 5. We have two coaches here. The coaches can be switched to a bed at night. And we also have another bed retracted on the top. Switching to bed is not easy, but the attendant would always love to help. The emergency exit in each room mat is on the window, and we have the lights, temperature control on the ceiling. We also have the stairs to the upper bed near the coach, where you can also put things here. We have a mirror near the steps the trash can near the coach. We also have the buttons near the coach for the daylight, night light, two bed light, air conditioner, the button to call the attendant, and a 120 volt power outlet to charge your electronics in the room. We have curtains for the door and windows. The doors of the roommate can be locked at night. And here we can have coat hooks, a compact closet with hangers and towels. This room is 36 times 66. Honestly, it could be a bit narrow for two people. We don't have the in-room toilet and shower, but several public ones outside. Amtrak also have bedroom options, which is more expensive, but which contains in-room bathrooms and a little bit more spacious. The sites. As we said, the California Zephyr crossed six states 
and you can enjoy different sceneries. We crossed Nevada the first day afternoon, and Colorado the second day. We crossed the Colorado forest, and they enjoyed the Colorado River a lot. We went through the Great Canyon and day two afternoon. These are my favorite parts. Generally, I really enjoyed sitting in the sexier seat with my book, my Kindle, and some music I already downloaded in my phone. Sometimes I just chill and listen to what others talking about. Or just chit chat with my neighbors. The people are really warm and friendly in this trip. The meals, the Amtrak feeds people really well. I feel so full during the whole trip, and started worrying about gaining weight. Here is the menu. We will have complimentary lunch and dinner on day one. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner on day two. Breakfast and lunch on day three, all of which are free for sleepers. You will have a soft drink, a dish each meal, and a dessert for lunch and dinner. You can also pay to get beer, wine, or spirits. We also have the complimentary water bottles and coffee in the sleeping car. When dining, I like the way that they combine the seats for single travelers to save spaces, but also helps us easily know each other in the same car. On day one lunch, I tried the steamed mussel, which is good enough. The orange juice and chocolate fusion. I usually order the landed sea combo, which includes crab cake. Steak, rice, or potato. On day two, I had the continental breakfast and coffee for breakfast. Angus burger, Pepsi for lunch. I was too full to eat any more desserts. Got another London sea combo and chocolate cake for dinner. The chocolate cake was really good, and their cheesecake is very good too. You can also push the call button for your room to get your meal delivered. I tried that once, but I really prefer to eat in the dining car to kill time and meet other people. Other amenities: I saw several restrooms for my car, which are quite compact as the picture, and there is no line for talk. Toilet at all in my journey. I only saw one shower and dressing room for my sleeping car, which is for all the roommates in one car. About ten of them, I guess. Anyway, it's not crowded too. I never need to wait for the shower on my trip. The bathroom provides bath towels and basic shower soaps. And there is no shampoo. On my train, the California Zephyr, they had nice hot water, but I also heard other passengers said they didn't get enough hot water on other trains. We will have plenty of power outlets in the set seat and the dining car, about two for each table. We do not have Wi-Fi on board. And the phone data doesn't work really well for a significant amount of time. So now let's talk about some details and what we need to take care about. 
The first thing is about the price. I ordered the Superliner Room Mat for $490 at the Amtrak official website. Well, this is the lowest price that I have ever seen in the Amtrak website for the California Devil Rod. The price I had seen is around for ninety to a thousand dollars for the California Zephyr route from Amarillo Station to Chicago for the roommate, and it is the same for one or two people. My advice is that you, if you want to get a more affordable price, you need to plan your trip at least three or four months before the trip. Well, it also depends what seasons you are planning to go. If it's a busy season, like in the summer, you even need to plan earlier than for three months. By the way, the coach seat is about one fifty dollars to three fifty dollars each. So if you are a group of two, uh, travel together, and with the complimentary meal in the sleeping car, usually the room mat could be even cheaper. Than two coach seats. Second thing is that I do feel a little bit twin sick in the trip. I feel not very comfortable when sitting in the sleeping car. Perhaps it's because the sleeping car is narrower. Well, I feel pretty good when I'm in the sightseeing car, especially in the part that looks like a lounge, which is much more spacious. And it's better to take care of this problem before the trip. You can pack some masks, some sour candies, some oranges, and even some medicine. I'm not very sure about that. And the third advice, I will suggest you to plan in the summer when there's more daylight and more colors. And I guess it could be prettier if the year has more rainfalls. Of course, there might be some compensations, like you need to order earlier, in a higher price, or a more crowded train. My fourth advice is that I suggest you to pack a book or something you can do without an internet, because the trip can be too relaxing in some point. And if you are a group of friends, you can always bring some card games, download some videos, or download some music in the trip. The fifth, arm track is pet friendly, but we cannot bring our pet for the trip more than seven hours. So if you want to take this long train trip, you cannot bring your pet. The sixth. Although it is the complimentary meals in the dining car, but uh, it's better to prepare some cash to tip the waiters and waitress. They do serve really well, and the food is really nice. And if you are ordering the coach seat, at least in my experience, in my car, you can pay with a credit card. Of course, it could be more secure if you bring some cash with you on the trip. The seventh thing you need to take care of is that there is no Wi-Fi and internet on the Amtrak train, and there is a significant amount of time that you will not have your phone signal, especially in your second day. Just make sure you prepare for this. And the eighth is that you will not have an indoor bathroom with a roommate, but the public restrooms and showers. They work pretty well for me on my trip, but、um, probably in the busy seasons you need to wait for a shower or a toilet. The room could be a bit compact for two people, so if you have the budget, you can always try the superliner bedroom for two people, which are more spacious. Of course, the bedroom could be more expensive, which is around one thousand to sixteen hundred dollars for the trip. That is what I had seen on the Amtrak website. And last but not the least, this time I traveled solo from San Francisco to Chicago.、Uh, it is a long train trip, which is、uh, three day and two night. 
anyway, I feel quite safe, quite comfortable, and quite friendly on the train, and I enjoy their food a lot. I saw a lot of retired couples on the train, and、uh, a lot of them tell me that the train trip is on their bucket list. And I also met、uh, several group of young people there. I seldomly feel lonely or uncomfortable on the train. Uh, anyway, I feel this trip is very new and refreshing for my experiences, and which is a good way for me to escape entirely from the city life. I won't take it again in the very near future, but I would say it's very worth experiencing. So that's all for today's video. Thank you.